Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a video on how to choose the right foundation. This is ideal if you are shopping blindly online. There's a little bit of a formula on how foundations work and how you can best choose the right foundation for you. I will break down the easiest way to work out your undertone and then how to choose the shade that's right for you. It's difficult enough when you go in store to try a foundation because half the time you're in store lighting and then when you go out in natural daylight, it's not always correct. So it's a good idea when you go shopping in store to try your foundation on and then go outside check it, use the sample, try it in different lighting before you commit to purchasing in case it isn't right. But this will help you when you're shopping blindly online. This will give you a better idea of narrowing down the right shade for you. I did a little Q&A on my Instagram the other day and one of the questions I received was, how do I pick the right foundation, how to know blue, green and neutral undertones? I can see that the way they've asked the question is incorrect in terms of those are not undertones um, but I get where they're going with it because we talk about blues and greens when we're talking about undertones but they aren't undertones so let's break it down we have three most recognized undertones being cool, warm and neutral some brands are referring to more undertones now but if we stick with warm cool and neutral those are gonna be the three that we work from. And then we have shades within those undertones. So whether you fall under very, very fair or very, very deep, you'll still have your own undertone and a shade that's suited to you. So me personally, I fall under the light medium category and I am neutral in my undertone. I don't tend to pull to pink in my appearance or to yellow. And then I can also notice that when I look at my veins, I can see both green and a purpley blue tone in my wrist. So the fact that I can see both means that I fall into that neutral category. When it comes to jewelry, I suit both gold and silver. And when I go out in the sun, I tan really easily, but if I forgot my sun lotion, I could still burn. So therefore I know I fall into the neutral category. If you're in the cool category, you would tend to be a little bit more pinky in your tone rather than yellow. When you look at the colors of your veins and your wrists, they tend to look more purpley or bluish. Silver tones look better on you when it comes to jewelry or cool tone clothes. And when you go out in the sun, you tend to burn easily, you rarely tan. If you are warm, you tend to look a little bit more on the yellow, golden, peachy side. When it comes to jewelry, you definitely suit more on the gold rather than silver. The warm toned clothes really work with your skin tone. And then when you go out in the sun, you always tan really well and rarely burn. And then when you look at the color veins in your wrist, they mostly look like they're just green. If you fall into more the olive category, you tend to be a little bit even more neutral or warm. You kind of tend to fall between the two and I guess again that depends on what time of the year it is. If you're unsure whether you're olive it's usually like during the winter you tend to be a little bit more fair but on the greener side and then as you tan with the summer your skin tends to tan really easily. You don't burn very easily but you go very neutral in your tan. You don't pull very orangey or very yellow. It tends to still be more on the neutral side, which in skin when you're tan can look a little bit more ashy. So it does tend to have that green olivey effect. So that's how you know if you're more olive. Now this can get quite confusing when it comes to brands. I have explained this in previous videos, but as this is a dedicated video, I'm gonna go over it again. MAC tend to be one of the only brands that are the opposite. So their cool tone is their yellow based and their warm tone is their pink base. You still get neutral, but they've swapped over their cool and warm. So when they say cool, they're looking at like sunshine tones. And then when they're saying warm, they're looking at pinky tones. So when you look at matte colors, you might have like NC1 and that is neutral, cool one. And then they'll have like NW1 or NW25 or NW50, but it will mean like neutral warm. You also just get cool on its own. So it's like C1, C2. So MAC do it the opposite, but most other brands are on the same category as I explained from the very beginning, that you have cool being pink, yellow being warm and neutral just being a bit of both. So once you've worked out your undertone, you then just want to work out which category of skin tone you fall into. So whether you are very, very fair, light, medium, tan or deep. Most brands will give you a few images or a shade chart online that you can look at and you can say, cool, I know where roughly I fall. So using myself as an example, I know that having checked my veins, I have both purple and green or blue and green toned veins in my wrist. 
I know I suit both gold and silver jewellery. I know when I'm out in the sun that I tan easily. However, if I don't have sun lotion, I know I'll burn. So I know I'm falling into that neutral category. Having looked at the shade charts around, I know I fall mostly into the light section, especially during the winter. So I know now where roughly I'm shopping when I go to look for a foundation, whether it's in store or online, I know which category I'm looking into. Most online stores now will categorize their foundations based on undertones. So you can select cool, warm or neutral. Sometimes they have a drop down menu where you can also select the skin tone. So I would select neutral and light. It would then show me the foundations that are in that category. So that's already a great way to automatically narrow down my choices. Most brands will categorize two shades per undertone and then six shades per skin tone. So for example, if I'm in the light section of the foundations, there will normally be six shades in light and that will be two in the warm section, two in the cool section and two in the neutral and it's the same in fair medium tan and deep so as i know i'm neutral that narrows it down to two shades so they will have light neutral one light neutral two light cool one light cool two light warm one and light warm two i know i'm not cool and i know i'm not warm so i'm just looking at the two neutral shades so once we're down to the two shades out of maybe the 30 shades they have available we've got a better chance of that being the correct shade for us at that time. Now, at the beginning of winter, when my tan's wearing off and I'm coming out of the medium or light medium category and going into light, if I was choosing a foundation at that shade, I would choose the second light option because I know that I still have a little bit of color on my chest or my body. If it's the winter and I know I'm at my fairest shade, for me, then I would pick the light neutral one shade. And this is exactly the same for whether you are in the fair category. If it's your winter skin and you're at your fairest shade, you pick fair one, whether you're in the cool, neutral or warm undertone. However, if it's when you have a little bit of color, you might want to pick shade two in that option. Usually in the height of summer, if I've been on holiday, I normally can go into medium one or light medium two. Again, there is no foolproof way to get the exact shade, but it's a great way to narrow down out of all of the shades available to the correct undertone at least, and also around the right shade for you. So remember, there's usually around six shades per skin tone and two shades per undertone. If you're still unsure which undertone you are, hopefully you will have a little bit of a better idea now. If you're still unsure, then I would say definitely go in store to see a makeup artist and get them to test a few foundations for you. But hopefully this is ideal for those of you that are shopping online because I know a lot more of us shop online blindly for foundations and we struggle. At least then we've got a better chance of choosing the correct foundation for our skin tone. So I hope that's been helpful. I don't wanna make it too complicated or talk for too long. I want to make it as easy to understand and hopefully I've done that. So if you've got any other questions, please leave them in the comment section below and I will definitely do my best to come back to you. If you've got any suggestions for more tutorials like this where you need more explanations, let me know and I'll do my best to arrange those for you. If you are new to my channel, my name is Shona Scott. Please consider hitting the subscribe button. It's free to do so. I upload on a Thursday and a Sunday and a short on a Monday. I'm most active over on Instagram, so you can come follow me over there at Show Me Makeup. And I'll see you in a few days with another video. Bye, guys.